Today is talking about the Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 GTI 1976 is going to be in GT Sport, but luckily this is going to be as the 1983 model. So this is going to be quite very good well chosen to be available as part of the December 2019 update. So for this custom race on Gran Turismo Sports, so hope this is going to be quite very good to get ready to try out with the first generation of the Volkswagen Gulf GTI. So this is going to be quite very good to have a first ever premium model. So by the differences, it used to be as a standard model as a 1976 models. So this will my taking a good look on the settings. So this is going to be quite very good for beginners. So the max horsepower is 110, max torque is 110.6. The weight is 1,962 and the drivetrain is the front engine car. So this is going to be quite very good because that is going to be quite giving a good standard performance as an M100 category. So this one might be scrolling down and this is going to be a fifth speed transmission. So this is going to be quite very good and this is going to be quite giving some extra surprise to have some good ways to have a customizable as well. So that was a very good car for all of us. So hope this is going to be quite very good to get prepared to be ready to go for having this time for testing out this vehicle. So this is going to be quite very interesting to be ready to take a good joyride for having this time for the race. So let's be prepared for having this time for this race folks. So hope this is going to be quite very good to bring the first GTI Gulp to be ready to go. But this time, this is going to be having some five laps to be getting started. So hope this is going to be quite getting a one basic work to get started. So this is going to be quite doing good to have an M100 category to get started to begin. But this is going to be a one slow basic racing workout to get started out to begin. I hope that this first ever hatchback vehicle could be ready to go faster to take on with any other vehicles in this category so I bet that this is going to be quite getting a good understeering capabilities we might be giving the good ways to improve look at this nice engine all wrapped up and ready to go so before enjoying watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and check out some more videos if you like Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want putting entertainment, so let's go and get ready to race and let's get it started. So before that, this is going to be having some few recommend on the balance of performance we'll be getting started. So hope this is going to be quite giving some few adjustments by having some changes. I bet this one might work perfectly, so giving possible we'll be having some tire changes will be needed as well. So it's all set and ready to go. And let's get ready to drive to have a good time for a race. Now, this is going to be quite very good to have this kind of an interior style for the first time. By giving the little bit differences for the first generation Volkswagen Golf was definitely used as a standard car in a different year model was appeared from Gran Turismo 4. And onwards to be continuing on as a standard car, but it is also still drivable so everybody really wants to, to race with this vehicle but later on in GT Sport because this is going to be quite giving some few differences so this is going to be having a 1983 model was going to be quite giving a well chosen to be added into the game so it looks definitely might be very good to have this vehicle so but it also going to be having some few adjustments to be having some good tuning settings as well and even the library design is going to be good to go for everybody so hope you guys really want to make your own various good designs and some replica that this will be needed to get prepared. So hope this is going to be quite giving some few good times to be ready to take on 5 laps around in Willow Springs International Raceway Streets of Willow so this is going to be quite giving the good understeering turns to be prepared. But uh, this is going to be quite giving smoother ways, so this is going to be quite very challenging. Getting one overtake onto the Mazda Unos Roaster to be getting in. 
taking on that final turn and then coming back in onto the overtake. Well, it is definitely might be giving a little confused statement, so I bet that this is going to be quite giving the only answer for this car, so the 1983 is that we might be going with it, so good thing that this is going to be quite very perfect for all of us to test out and see how it feels, but this is going to be quite giving the good faster ways to be getting in, so good thing that this is going to be having the balance of performance would be recommend to be needed. But even that this is going to be quite given the differences was also needed to have to take that one basic racing skills to be going in. But luckily if possible to be having a one make race to be ready to go. Now it's going to be having a one step moment to be taking one good direction to be getting in there. So gonna have that much riskier it takes to be having that understeer turns to going in so if we have to take one clean race to take a good perfection just gonna take it nice and slow and make one overtake onto the a bar 500 gonna keep it nice and tight that should do it now six Five more to go. I hope this is going to be quite very good to have this old Volkswagen Golf to be ready to keep it up. But this car is going to be very good to have a good old reliable to be driving faster it takes. But there is going to be giving a, a little differences that might be have other appearances for this car. So maybe this is going to be having a one of the starter cars from Rockstar Games Midnight Club Los Angeles. In case you guys have remembered this game, so this is going to be quite very well chosen to have this car to be given the good recommend to be chosen as a starter vehicle. But this is going to be quite very good to drive faster it takes, but this one might have some few adjustments on some horsepower and weight production. Because I kind of say that this is going to be having that gulp to go faster whenever it takes to take that slipstream will be needed to increase its acceleration. Now I bet this is going to be quite getting one further distance up ahead so hope I can probably catching up to the Alpine A110 because this is going to be giving the old classic car to be going on to the faster ways to get into the lead so this is going to be quite giving the road reference to be need to have this full spike and gold to get it there to be in first place. Just driven to be successful is going to be quite giving the important ways for having a classic car to be ready to go. There's that Alpine A110. This is going to be my chance to going in to overtake. But taking a lot of good understeering capabilities to be going in. So this is going to be taking a lot of few tires to be recommend to be needed. Just going to be reaching up at the end of the halfway lap. Now we're going in to take it in onto the fourth lap. So this one might need to take a little few more distance to go. I hope this old vehicle can probably keeping up on it. This one might give the 1980s vehicle to take the lead to be going in. This one might take a little patience, so hope I could probably need that slipstream to going in. Getting closer. Hope this one might be able to have that engine sound to going rev up. Oh man, that was so close. Almost had the moment, folks. Hope I can keep it up. This is going to be quite very good to be able to keep this old style. Could take plenty much more speed and handling to take. But this wheel might have that stability to make sure if we have to be very careful to try not to get tipped off for it. But it's going to be a very risk. So we have to keep the stability to be need to keep it well maintained. Just like the Samba bus from last place. So just going to be giving a one good example.
I hope the A110 just definitely might be making one overtake forward to going in. So hope I can probably keep it up. All right, this is it. This is going to be the final lap of this race, folks. This is going to be quite pretty hard to take because taking that oversteer versus understeer for taking one fierce challenge to going in. This is going to be giving a one tough struggle to going in by giving a chance. There you go. Looks like both Spike and Gulf Mark 1 in the lead. So hope I can probably stay in first place to maintain. But the A110 is really want to go for it. So I have to be ready to defend. This is going to be quite giving them one risky difference to be understandable to have this car to keep it going. But one day, this vehicle will might have a lot of horsepower and weight reduction to be improved much faster it takes. Because this is going to be quite giving a lot of few standard practicing to be having a lot of workouts to be needed as possible. Almost there to be having an 8 minute race time so hope I can keep it up. This one might take a few gap distance. We'll be ready to go. Hope I'm ready to take the final stretch. This is going to be the hard one for the Volkswagen Golf Mark 1. Just going to keep it well defended before the A110 is about to coming back in. There you go. This is going to be a very good race finish. So that was a pretty challenging race out there folks. This is going to be a very challenging race to keep it up for having a one classic vehicle to have a very good recommend balance of performance to be needed as possible. So it takes a lot of hard work to be get it done. But good thing that this is going to be quite giving the first place for using the 1983 Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark 1 model. So that was pretty good for having a one good starter race to begin with. So that is definitely might be pretty challenging. So good thing that this is going to be quite very good to have first place on the podium. But this is going to be quite taking a lot of overtakes to take on 19 vehicles because this is going to be quite very good to drive faster for one beginner professional skill will be ready to go. But I hope this is going to be quite very good to be ready to go for the next round so this is going to be going different for having a longer track so I bet that this is going to be quite very good to take the short track to be needed as possible so giving the medium short track as well. So I bet that this is going to be quite doing much better to be ready to go for the next challenge. Will be quite very challenging to be prepared for having this time for the moment. For the next race, this will might have a single lap around in Spa Franker Champs by having an applying overtake for the Volkswagen Gulf Mark 1 GTI. So this is going to have a recommend balance of performance for the track so this will might suitable to be ready to go. So let's find out and see how fast can it go. But this is going to be a risky lap challenge to be prepared for the first generation hatchback vehicle to be prepared. So this will might go forward and let's begin to commence. I hope this is going to be quite getting a few sideways for every different vehicles but this will might need to take a good chance for having a clean race is important. And here comes the first turn we'll be taking the hard right to going in and this will might have the rest including the upper hill turn we'll be going in. But this will might have the applying more speed to be needed to adjust so if possible if we have to go for it but this is going to be needs to take a lot of faster work to going at it. So it's going to be pretty risky if we have to find a good ways to make a good open window on the overtake to make multiple passes on each other N100 vehicles. That should probably do it. This will might push it in when you're at in sixth place. Only five more to go. And here comes the fifth gear wheel might give a little extra boost to kick it in. 
That's going to be quite giving a little bit much understeer turns to go at it. But this boat might need to take plenty more forward turns to going in for having the moment. There you go. This is going to be quite getting a few faster times. We might give it a little patient time to going in. Now going on to the hard right until going to the hard left. But this will might getting one step forward to catch up onto the Alpine A110 as soon as possible. So this will might need to hurry up for taking a lot of faster moments to be needed as well. Taking one good overtake onto the Porsche Roaster. And then a free stretch space open up on the distance to catch up onto the first place leader. But this wheel might have plenty of turns to be going in. There you go. That wheel might giving a little applied gap distance will might get nearly closer. Just gonna go in and take the slipstream wheel might race up for the acceleration. This wheel might come in handy to get nearly closer. So I hope this is going to be quite doing well for the for the Gulf GTI Mark 1 to be going at it. This one might stay going up onto the fourth gear until reaching up into the fifth gear to be coming in. That should do it. This one might give a little boost up onto the distance to be coming in. Hope this is definitely might be worked perfectly, but this is going to be a hard risk. Now that is going to be quite giving a little bit more time to do it, folks. But it is advanced skill, but if this is going to be quite doing, giving a lot of few practice to perform. But make sure this wheel might have any unique skills to perform by using this kind of a car. So this wheel might have an applying of performance will be needed as possible. But good job for having a lot of single lap by overtake 19 cars at once. But good thing this is going to be quite giving the good moments to be giving the reference to be having a lot of racing strategy to perform. But good thing that this will might have a good clean race bonus was included for having a one lap challenge to be well done. So this will be giving a well earned to be getting there. So I guess that might be it for now. So. That was a pretty good racing exercise for having an M100 category for the race. So I kind of say that this is going to be quite very good to have this kind of a first generation Volkswagen Golf to be in the game. So this is going to be quite giving a good perfect moment to be having some good library designs to try it out to be customized would be needed as well. The Golf GTI became a huge hit as a sports model that was also practical for everyday use. This is where over 30 years of GTI history began for Volkswagen because this is going to be a very good model for the first generation Gulf GTI as a 1983 model. But this is going to be very good for having a new type of the first generation model was started out to make as a 1976. But this is going to be quite very good to have the new updated version because this is going to be quite super awesome for everybody who really wants to try this hatchback vehicle out. But this is definitely might be very good performance. But this is going to have plenty of good understeering turns to have a very good circuit settings will be giving a good ways to have a good racing mobility. Alright folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and bell for notification uploads. And the links on the description down below if you want to see more. And library blog videos are available to watch anytime you want. So this will might have a showcase about some library designs I have been, ma been made. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for continuing on on the custom race on Gran Turismo Sports. And I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing. Stay clean.